What's your last name, Steve? Dawson. Are you related to Shane Dawson? You know, I heard that guy like to- You wanna suck my- I'm- I mean, who said that? Are you the? I mean, you're asking another guy to suck your dick. That sounds pretty gay. Uh, you're funny, man. Uh, what? You're funny, huh? I tell you what, there's a million things I'd rather do than stay in line wasting some telemarketers' time. But it wasn't shut for If I took 5% of your mental perception, you'd stop breathing. I don't care if people think we're a scam. We do mislead people a little bit. We don't lie. What's going on everybody? I hope you're having a fantastic day. In this video, we have some Amazon scammers, some flight scammers, and some student loan debt scammers. It was a really funny video. I had a lot of fun recording it. I had a couple of really funny calls that uh, I couldn't really keep my composure through. <laughs> if you enjoy this type of content, make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a video. Like this video just to help me out in the algorithm and to maybe earn yourself a week of good luck. <laughs> That's made up. That was a joke, but the placebo might work in a in a special ways. Maybe you will have good luck for a week. Ooh, who knows? Give it a try. All right, let's just get right into the video. Thank you for calling us. You don't forget Miss Energy and Miss Speaking. I'm gonna help you. Thank you for calling. Wait, what? I was zoning out. Did someone answer the phone? <laughs> Damn it. Alrighty, no one wants to answer the phone. I guess we'll just have to call the flight fare people. Thanks for calling reservations. How may I help you? Oh, hello? How may I help you? Yeah, hello? Hello? Hello, how may I help you? Yeah, I was just wondering how much IQ it takes to be such a dumb bitch. <laughs> ah. Oh my god, no offense to dumb bitches. Only the scammers. Sue Long for Kimmy Center. This is Oscar on our recorded line. How can I help you today? Hello? Sue Long for Kimmy Center. This is Oscar on our recorded line. Can I assist you today? Hey, Oscar. I got some debt. Hey, hello, sir. Your line is cutting in and out. You have what? I have debt. Debt. Did de 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 wham. Hello? Yes. I think I can hear you better now. You have student loan debt. Is this correct? C correct. Okay. Uh, what we do is we just help people apply for the incubator program. Debt to day did wham. Is that what you were looking for? Yes. Uh huh. Because it sounds exactly as what you're doing. Uh, all right. Well, I'm just not gonna waste my time with you, sir. Would all you right. You have a nice one, you ticket? dumb fuck. Okay. Yeah. You're I hope you have a terrible you're day ahead of you. I hope all of your sins stack you up on your shoulders your, and the god of karma will strike you down uh, into the fiery uh, rains of hell and you will burn for eternity uh, and eternity uh, uh, will be a long uh, uh, and suffering existence. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Was I too was I too harsh? Thank you for calling. This is Steve. How may I help you? Steve? Yeah. Are you sure your name isn't Speev? My name is Steve. Tell me, how can I help you? Wait, are you saying your name is Steve or Speev? Steve. Speev? I've never heard someone named that before. That's my name. What's your last name, Speev? Okay. It's Dawson. What'd you say? Dawson. Speev Dawson, huh? Uh -huh. Are you related to Shane Dawson? No. You know, I heard that guy liked to come on his cat. Do you like to come on your cat, you sicko? <laughs> Thank you for reaching Amazon. This is Eric. Come and help you today. Hey, what's up, you dumb bitch? Hello? Hey, what's up, you dumb bitch? You wanna suck my dick? I'm, I mean, who said that? Pardon? Are you... are you the gay? Are you the? I mean, you're asking another guy to suck your dick. That sounds pretty gay. I'm just wondering... I mean, it's okay if you are. I won't, uh, I won't well, hate you. It might be your daughter and might might be your daughter or your wife wants my dick, that's why you call on that number? Well, it doesn't matter because you, you want me to suck your dick, uh, you know? So you want to I don't think you'd want a female, I think I you want me, big boy. I think you are the f gay, that's why you call on that number, motherfucker, son of a bitch. Hey man, you started it. You were asking for a guy to suck on your cock, how gay is that? <laughs> I really caught that guy in some kind of <laughs> loophole. He tried to change it, and I was like, no, 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 I remember what you said, what the fuck? <laughs> so Pakistan just beat India in a, in a game of soccer or football, depending on where you are. Big rivalry between Pakistan and India. Right up. Hey, did you hear Pakistan won? What is it? Pakistan won football. What is it? 
What is what? <laughs> oh, I almost fucking started laughing out loud. What is it? What is it? <laughs> Dude, um, defense center, this is Rick. How may I help you? Hey, Rick, I was just wondering if you've ever actually gone to college. I did. Really? For real. Man, it must not have been a good one. You still sound like a real stupid motherfucker. Uh, it was UNLV, so it is what it is. You're, you're content with that? Content with what? My four-year degree from... University of Nevada, Las Vegas? Absolutely. University of Las Vegas, what, do you get that at a casino or something? <laughs> yeah, UNLV, they're a casino school. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, you're funny, man. Huh? What? You're funny, huh? Man, be fucking real, dude. You're going to waste time, waste your time, at least, like, be funny or something. I mean, I have said nothing that's funny, but you said I'm funny. Hey, man, you're you, the joke. You're going to try to, um, to some people, maybe. Yeah, I'm not here to make you today. laugh. I'm, I'm laughing at you. Oh, uh, then... Your mind must be pretty simple if that entertains you. Because I tell you what, there's a million fucking things I'd rather do than stay in line wasting some telemarketers' time. Which, by the way, we get call base. Our bonuses are based on our call time. So I'm actually rolling a blunt right now. So you're keeping my call times up without me actually having to work. So thanks. Keep my hands free. That's fine. Sounds like your morals line up to to your job. And yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much. All right. Well, you have a good time you trying you to scam some awesome people. Job. Alright, don't hang up. Come on, I'm almost done rolling. Give me an extra minute to talk time. You're the type of guy who fucking slobbers all over the shit. Oh, it's fucking disgusting. I'm OCD clean. If I saw someone slobbering all over a fucking blunt, unless it's a hot chick, I'm not hitting that shit. Yeah, you're deep throwing the whole fucking thing, making sure. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude, you almost got me to laugh. That was awesome. Like, like literally, you took like 5% of my mental um, perception and almost made me pay attention more to your laugh. But it wasn't just that Bro, if I took 5% of your mental perception, you'd stop breathing. You're using that last 5% for all it's got. <laughs> That's what my girl says sometimes. Especially yesterday at the Raiders game. How'd the Raiders do? Just freaking awesome. They won. And I covered my bet, too. I had it for the first half, and I had it for the game. And because I've been to every single Raiders game as a season ticket holder, this time we got passes to the win fucking... Um, little bar resort area right behind the goal line. Like, it was awesome. Awesome. Well, that's fucking good, man. You weren't really the the Indian scammer I was expecting to get connected to. <laughs> I don't care if people think we're a scam. I honestly don't. We're a legit company. We kind of, I won't lie, we do mislead people a little bit. We don't lie. <clears throat> we're just a document processing company. We just charge people a fee to process all the docs they actually need to enroll to these programs. Just like taxes, you can do them on your own, but some people pay us to do it. And, well, we are registered with the Department of Education on studentaid.gov, so I don't care if people think we're a scam. Right. That's I how it usually works. Once they, got a, once they got American workers, they're, they're working some kind of loophole where they're technically a legal business. Yeah, we're a third-party company, so you pay us a fee. We send you all the documents you need pre-filled out. So you literally just have to sign and mail into the Department of Education. At that point, our job is done. Hmm. Not a bad deal, man. You have a good rest of your day, all right? All right, brother. Good life. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that call turned out to be. <laughs> I fucking roasted the shit out of that guy with the fucking 5% brain power. <laughs> oh, that was too funny to be. A <laughs> oh, my fucking God. What an idiot. What a guy. You know, and right there is where you get into the tricky, uh, the, the the more gray area of the scam market. There's the black scam market where it's like people in India who are fully breaking the law and they're fully lying and not even trying to cover themselves. But then there's businesses like this who work under a legal, you know, umbrella, even if they are spam calling people uh, using manipulative business tactics and shit like that, that they still are technically a good company, even if that's not... Not the company you would want to do business with. All right, everybody, that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy this type of content, make sure to like the video and comment down below something nice, something wonderful, something funny, something stupid. I don't care. The stupider, the better. Uh, honestly, some comments make me laugh my ass off. <laughs> and uh, I appreciate uh, every one of you who take uh, takes a little bit of time out of your day just to throw something down in that comment section. You know, uh, I really appreciate it. You're helping uh, build a nice little community. And uh, I read every comment you guys leave. Here are some comments that I enjoyed reading from the last one. Thank you guys so much for leaving those. I hope you have a wonderful day and that maybe I can make your day just a little bit better. If you're going through some hard times, take a step back to uh, 
try to learn a little bit about yourself. Try to learn why you, why you do the things you do and uh, why you react uh, in certain ways. But you can't, while well, you're still in that mood, if that makes sense. You gotta like uh, file, file whatever you're feeling away and uh, bring it back up later. Don't ignore those feelings because they're just gonna pop up again later. You're gonna be just as not ready to deal with them as you were the first time. Try to understand your behavior. And then hopefully, if, if uh, you're in the situation again, hey, you, you took time to think about it while you were in a okay state of mind. Now you uh, have a game plan on how to move forward. I, I hope that I could help some of you guys. I'm just I'm just speaking my truth. Honestly, when I when I give these uh, words of motivation, I'm kind of talking to myself a little bit. There's a there's a little bit of lore. I love you guys so much. Thank you for supporting these videos. I hope that you go out and have a wonderful day and make it the greatest day that it can be. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.